But you said you are so done with Google. I've apparently missed the Twitter rant. Yeah, um, I went off a few days ago on Google Drive, and uh, everybody else wants to defend them, and their little fucking announcement can, you know, go kiss you kiss my ass on Main Street. They, and, oh, I talk about the boogeyman. No, here's my thing. Your arguments are feeble. I don't give a fuck about what happens, and, 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 and oh, well, they may not do anything. Then if they're not going to do anything, change the goddamn wording. How hard could it be to change your terms of service to say, fine, we'll make it exclusive to this? That, oh, I... That me with bullshit wording and saying, here's the pragmatics of it and all this other stuff. In other words, do as I do, don't do as I write. I mean, what... what, what, I, mean, what I, uh, I, I, you know, I'm sure they'll do that in a week or two, just because... But they better. But, no, I, I say that because I look at every other company... Start over, start over. Start over. Re-ask me the question. I gotta re-unpause. Oh, okay. That's why I, I told you not to pause wait, it. Wait, 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 wait. Rusty, you have to like. Start okay, off. hold on. Get the button. Uh, I'm unpaused. Okay. 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 So apparently, uh, apparently, apparently, I missed the Twitter tirade yeah. bit on you yeah, hate Google not, now. Yeah. Okay. So my problem with Google Drive is in terms of service, and I don't give a crap about who comes at me and says, "Oh." There's like the boogeyman spreading FUD. No, I'm not. But don't, your, your arguments are feeble. I don't care what you want to argue pragmatically or how much harm actually occurs. If the harm is so minimal, how much harm is it to change the goddamn sentence to say something else? Well, no, and, as, I told you, as I told you Saturday, and a lot of people in the industry have pointed this up, I, Google is about the fifth company to try and push this button with the consumer, and every company who's tried to do this has had some people defend them and a whole score of people attack them, like's going on with Google, and a week or two later they go, okay, well, perhaps we need to redraft our agreement. That's right. Until then, because Apple has actually done that a lot with a redraft. They actually take the easier route and reword things. How about you step up to the plate, Google? Oh, I'm not really going to do it to you in real life. Oh, yeah. Okay, so if there's a difference between do as you do and do as you write. Change what the hell you were writing, and it will make you feel better. Until then, shut your goddamn mouth, and any argument you have is bullshit until you do so. And I, and I guarantee you to deal with the PR shitstorm, uh, people like you and others are pointing out, they're going to have to. It, yeah. it, they'll do it in a week or two. They'll go, oh, well, that really isn't what we meant, but we can see yeah, we true. can see the conflict, so we're going to rewrite it. You know what? Regardless of what they say, until I'm until it's rewritten, I'm like, okay, son. But I... I I'm I'm ninety percent convinced they're going to rewrite it just because they have to to get people well, like you okay, off their back. Let's make a reminder today. Let's make a reminder in this show and, and wait how long we're going to change the terms of service, okay? Because you may have the best intentions and everybody wants to say I'm spreading, but you know, like I said, kiss my ass. The thing that is is it's far easier to change a goddamn sentence to say things because the, the way it's reading is it says the data is mine and the data is Google's, okay? That's what it, it does say. All right. So, if we need to make something specific for the Google Drive or whatever, and I understand there's a difference between what I decide to share for the public to see and what I decide to use, as I would use, you know, in a New York Drive, like I had in goddamn 1998. All right. So, uh, change a goddamn words because it's far easier to do that than call, than say, oh, I'm just spreading fun. You know, put your money where your mouth is. And change a goddamn well, voice. I can't make Google sign them, but if I had to bet, I'd bet in a week or two they're going to change it. So, will you you next next show next week? You can go. Have they changed it yet? Have they changed it yet? Because <laughs> uh, and if you have to do that more than two times, I may go. Okay, Google, why the fuck haven't you changed it yet? It's so ironic, guys, that I read other cloud drive services and they are very very specific. Uh, but, the, but most of them weren't when they first came out. A lot of them, when they first came out, were as bad, if not worse, than how Google is know. right now. I don't know. I can't. I can't argue to the fact. Everything like I chose to use uh, Dropbox, and when I read the terms of service, it was extremely specific to me. So. Yeah, Dropbox is one of the few that got it right to start with because they paid attention to everybody else fucking up. Google, on the other hand, did not pay attention to the other people fucking up. 
another one. I forget the name of it. It's it, it actually and all this kind of encryption and stuff. And I forget the name of name I, that I looked at. It was some time back. And I don't even really use Dropbox all that extensively, you know, because I already have all my network drive mapped, and I have publishing crap and all this stuff. I use Dropbox just for communication, actually, with other people. But the the uh, um, I change the damn words. Boom. That's my point. Change the words. How hard can it be? Uh, no, I, like I said, I think they will, but we'll find out in a few weeks because it usually takes a week or two for them to to realize maybe we should actually go adjust this. Uh, one more reason to hate Google is they have now convinced the United States government that they should be the email provider. What? Yeah. What do you mean email provider? Uh, it, it, it wins U.S. contract. Go on there. Oh, you mean. They want to be the email outfitter for the, the, the government transactions? Are they crazy? The government's crazy. Oh, they got the contract. It's from, oh, no. Oh, it's just the Department of Interior. Exactly. All right. It's not the whole government yet. <laughs> well, over soft, over Microsoft software. That's interesting, guys, in the government, because Exchange is pretty, you know, it's not bad at all. Man, your asses are going to be fucking hurting when that sh the central node goes down. I can't stand central. Pro I just, I'm sorry. It goes against my nature. I don't like application search providers. Google represents. Yeah, yeah, but you know, for for non classified stuff. This is a goddamn government, and don't bring up fucking shit about the, the Walmart bombs. This is a government. They fucking know better. You got to have work with the government. You have that doggles and all that goddamn shit. It's bullshit, Rusty. There's no fucking defense for this. Uh, the fact that it saves a lot of money for non-classified stuff where you don't care about chain of custody. Yeah, what was that movie, Independence Day, where a hammer cost ten thousand dollars? This is this is we don't need to. No. Uh, that was pre-depression. <laughs> <laughs> we care now. They can't cost ten thousand dollars anymore. That's good. That was good. I don't know. Whatever. <laughs> Let me just say this. All right, so I, I, I went on my little sarcastic bullshit. Perhaps, uh, like with Android, uh, Google is allowing them to have their own little special, you know, situation and their own little private deal. I can't see them actually participating uh, outside, you know, on, on, a, on, a, on an equivalent server that's shared with other Google services. I can't see that happening. I would be willing to bet that this is like a specific custom situation that Google is providing service to the U.S. government very much like the uh, Android services that they're providing to uh, other military. Uh, well, that wouldn't they, surprise me. We don't know all the particulars. All we know is Google won the contract. Yeah, and I think that's what probably was going to happen. Yeah. But the thing is, I hate how things are written. I wish people would get a little bit... I don't... You know, that's, that's why you guys got to listen to a show that sucks, Rusty and I and everybody else. We're not going to give you repeat information from just uninformed shit, you know? You can read garbage all day long, and then you have reality and stuff. Because that's what headlines do to you. They corrupt your mind, and you, then you, you think all this crazy shit, like I did in my sarcastic version. And the first thing is, the real shit. <laughs> that's why you got to listen to us. Exactly. We know what we're talking about. They don't. <laughs> I bet you stuff, damn it. I, I do find it interesting that so many people are obsessing over the fact that Samsung and Android's market share are growing. Like, we expected them to do anything but. I mean, there's a reason Google's been making their announcements out of Samsung's uh, headquarters as of late, as opposed to over here, and so on and so forth. But, it, it you know, I, I'm not even sure this is really news. It's just one of those... It, 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 okay, things are doing... Well, it was the HTC, wasn't it? It was like, or was it Motorola? I mean, I think each company wore the Android crown for a while. Like, it was Motorola at one point, then HTC, and now it's Samsung. Yeah, well, and that's why Google's backing behind Samsung, because Samsung's the big seller right now. As soon as that changes, Google's going to go... I don't know, if, if Bob's watching, he asked me about this uh, uh, Razer, and... Yeah, I'm not using it. I mean, I prepared it for my wife. And I was sarcastic the other night. She definitely, though, guys, would not have done anything 
that we did to set it up. Oh, wait. Right. You know, for most people, for most people, for most people wouldn't. Well, and for those of you who missed Saturday's show, and I don't think this actually made it into the recordings, basically we hacked in where it's stuck on desktop mode so it's more better integrated. Uh, and yeah, <laughs> you're right, she would not have done that. I was just trying to be funny and stuff. But, but she's going to like it, I think. And I ask, she's going to like the whole uh, worship screens, right? You know, my wife didn't even know that you could scroll, and, and she's not the only one. I've met tons of people that didn't even know that you could scroll, like from page to page, to get icons on iOS. Really? Yeah. And uh, and uh, so I think she'll. I think she's gonna like it. I think the form is great. I, I played around with notifications, and I think they're the email on Motorblur is awesome. It reminds me of WebOS, by the way. If, if I'm, we're making a segue here, I can swipe. And then it can do it like a delete. It's, it's very nice. And then, and, and let me tell you, the Android version iOS here is, is far less clips in deleting multiple emails than on iOS. iPhone 4. Um, I, I found it extremely rapid, so I think she's really going to like that because she's got a problem with managing email. And, and, and from what I've seen here, the email, which I was worried about, was very uh, much more intuitive than I thought. And pretty damn cool. To it, like it's intuitive it. and it's utilitarian. It, I, it's yeah, not it's, the best one I've seen, but it's usable. It, well, I, to, to the way iOS does it on her iPhone 4, which is a few steps to get to the full size slide and all that stuff, um, this is great. It, auto, it has it automatically. It's like, see, bank, they're already there. See, it's already like listed here. You don't have to do anything else. Just bing, 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 done. Yeah. Or, 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 um, like, I can just swipe it like this, and it's done. Like, what the That's awesome. Now, oh, did you get the, did you get her the regular one or the extended battery one? Yeah, I'm not even video. You're not even capturing my video. Okay. I can swipe from left to right. <laughs> I can swipe from left to right. <laughs> the checkbox is already there. I'm thinking of my big video here and demonstrating for the camera's icon. What up? Oh, yeah. I did that. Oh, shit. Anyway, uh, I think very good. I think she's going to like that. She's going to like that. So. Okay. We'll have so, to, we'll have to cover that. I will maintain non sarcastic with the advanced task that I chose. What did the developer please? Please. You are the only one I know. For those of you who don't know what, what, what he's talking about, we, we, we told it we told him about that's Task Killer and he went and loaded it. And he he thinks the fact that the kill task button at the top says kill task and there's a big great button. He's like, no, it belongs at the bottom and it needs to be more button in it. And Tyus Roman numeral doesn't look like a button. I originally thought that if you unchecked it, that it would disappear. Because oh I am WebOS oriented, I would say that. Because to me, it would make the most sense that it's much more rapid for me to do, like like WebOS, which is a better OS. Sorry. Uh, I would just simply click, 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 pop, 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 versus let me select, 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 then push a button. You see what I'm saying, guys? When you design UIs, let's make it a little bit better. Make it a little bit better. See, I get to say, pop, 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 pop. Check, 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 then all of you are. You see what I'm saying, guys? Come on, get with it. I'm a program. I do these things. All right. I still like the one button kill. Never. You're full of shit. Okay. But what do I know? Yes, yeah, well, what do you know? I, uh, 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 okay, Mr. <laughs> programmer and developer. <laughs> and this I this if you're still with us. Okay, what do y'all think about the quote unquote, I didn't know about the road war driving stuff. Um, Wait, what did you say? I didn't know about what? Uh, well, okay, the Doe engineer known for hacking tool. Okay. Basically, this goes back to Google was collecting, you know, Wi-Fi packets and, and so on and so forth. And Google claims it didn't know you know, they've been absolved of any civil and criminality thing. The worst they got was an FCC fine for supposedly obstructing the investigation. 
the guys, uh, what, what's, been, what's come to light in the process of this is that the engineer who created the software that was capturing the packets told his superior exactly what he was going to be doing. And his superior, and Google says they didn't know anything. Basically, he said, I'm going to collect this stuff. And his superior just didn't read his specs at all. Just basically rubber stamped them and they never got looked over by anybody else. <laughs> So like, is that incompetence? Is this Google's just gotten too big that the left hand doesn't know what the right hand is doing? Uh, you, know what I mean? you know what the saddest thing of it is, of this is? The reason why companies like Apple, Google, and Microsoft want to know about public Wi-Fi hotspots is because our infrastructure is a piece of shit in this country. Yes. Why don't the leaders and the powers that be get your fucking asses off the chair and stop worrying about frivolous bullshit? And let's get some shit underway, you know? Let's let's loosen up some of the government regulations so it's cheaper to build a goddamn infrastructure so we don't have to hound people to say, is this a public work by hotspot? Oh my god, oh my god! So now I can put it up in my topology and this is a connection point. Are you freaking kidding me? We wouldn't have all these goddamn problems if we get people the hell out of the way, specifically you, government, local and federal, to let us be able to map and put more topology in broadband networking underway so that we can really get a goddamn network so we don't have to worry about borrowing where I can get a goddamn signal. Fuck! Move on. A little annoyed, are we, Bit? <laughs> yeah, because, because these stories un don't underline what the fundamental problem is. Why do we do all these things? Why do we try to find ways with our phones to try to find public Wi-Fi hotspots and can't will you share and all this other stuff? Why? Because Everything else fucking sucks in terms of infrastructure, and we're not doing a goddamn anything about it. Instead, we write articles about bullshit, and we should be saying, all right, this was maybe a breach or something, and we didn't understand it, but guess what? The fundamental, the fundamental problem is, is that to provide you, the consumer, a better service, we have to do shit like this, because everything else sucks. Because in the meantime, your goddamn carriers are wanting to charge you 60 bucks for bullshit. They charge you $45 for what they call unlimited... Uh, freaking bandwidth that they randomly throttle you down to, and then if you want to have a Wi-Fi hotspot, then you charge another goddamn forty-five dollars that gets throttled down. Are you freaking kidding me? Let's get shit together. Let's get the goddamn broadband and freaking network up and running. I mean, ask Tiny. See if Tiny agrees with me. This is freaking bullshit. The, 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 you know? Well, he's on a grandfather data plan that he abuses adamantly. <laughs> oh my cell yeah. phone, my other tablets. Oh uh, yeah. Well, but don't you tether that to your phone? No. Oh, okay. No, but he understands my point. Yeah. What I'm saying is he understands my point. Should, it should just all work, not just, oh, I need this thing to make this work, you know? It should but they do. We have, to, we have to piggyback yeah. on things. Yeah, this is insane. <laughs> Well, honestly, I, know, I, I agree it's a breach. Honestly, I, I don't understand what's the difference between Google taking the packets and some random stra stranger on the street taking the packets that you left unencrypted and open and are broadcasting out to the street. You know, it's... Oh, oh well.